Good morning students. My name is Mohit. I am a mathematics teacher in Mount Ritra Z School, Jhansi. Today, we will talk about fractions. First of all, I would like to inform you that this video is for 5th and 6th both. This chapter is common in both the classes. Now, let's back to the chapter. Introduction. A fraction represents a part of the whole. In a fraction, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. So, this is the fraction. It means if we divide anything into parts, so its particular parts represents a part of the whole. For example, if I am taking this figure, this is a this is a blocked shaped figure so in this shape these are two figures uh, one two three four five total blocks are five but only two blocks are shaded not uh, like three blocks are shaded let's take three blocks are shaded it means out of five only three blocks are shaded it means three by five it means the number of blocks shaded upon total number of blocks it means the fraction is 3 by 5 so 3 is numerator and 5 is denominator so this is type of fraction let's take another example if I take a circle and divide it into five four parts it means if I shade three parts it means one part is remaining so I can write it like 3 by 4 because the total number of parts are 4 1 2 3 4 while the number of shaded portions are only 3 it means 3 by 4 is the fraction of the shaded portion now let's take third example these are some blocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 horizontally there are 7 blocks and vertically 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 6 blocks it means the total number of blocks are 6 into 7 that is 42 while how many blocks are shaded 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 only 9 blocks are shaded it means 9 by 42 is the fraction of the shaded portion so this is type of this is a uh, this is a this is an example of fraction now let's talk about types of fraction so the types of fraction first type is proper fraction what is proper fraction in which the numerator is smaller than denominator if a fraction in a fraction if in a fraction its numerator is smaller than denominator like 3 by 5 in which 3 is smaller than 5 it means it is proper fraction these are some examples of proper fraction you can write like 14 by 15 7 by 9 11 by 15 2 by 5 4 by 11 etc now the second type is improper fraction what is improper fraction in which the numerator is greater than denominator for example 3 by uh, 5 by 3 9 by 4 11 by 9 20 by 13 7 by 3 etc so this is improper fraction now the third type is mixed fraction what is mixed fraction a mixed fraction when we combine a whole number and a proper fraction together we get a mixed fraction like 3 is a whole number 4 is a whole number 2 is a whole number these are whole numbers which are combined with proper fraction you know that proper fraction what is proper fraction in which numerator is a smaller than denominator and here also its numerator is smaller than denominator it means this is proper fraction and this is whole number so when we combine a whole number with a proper fraction we get a mixed fraction how we will read it we will read it three holes one by two four holes two by three two holes three by four etc now how to solve it if i write any mixed fraction like three holes one by two we can write it like this two gets multiplied by three and we will add this one like 2 3 2 into 3 plus 1 and the denominator will be same like 2 here we will get 7 by 2 so here we get an improper fraction it means a mixed fraction is obtained through an 
improper fraction like when we divide 7 by 2 we will get the mixed fraction which is a combination of proper fraction proper sorry proper fraction and a whole number whole number in a proper fraction now let's come to the third part now the fourth type is unit fraction what is unit fraction when numerator is equals to its denominator means in a fraction if numerator and denominator are equal it will be a it will be an it will be a unit fraction for example 3 by 3 5 by 5 6 by 6 7 by 7 9 by 9 11 by 11 so these are some examples of unit fractions why we will call it unit fraction because they can be writ, uh, write, written as one like 3 by 3 we will cut 3 ones are 3 so it will be 1 5 by 5 5 ones are 5 so it will be 1 so these solutions are equivalent to 1 so these are unit fractions in which numerator is, is equivalent to denominator now let's talk about the other type the fifth type is like fraction what are like fraction fractions with same denominators their numerators may be different but their denominators are same then they will be like fractions for example 1 by 15 2 by 15, 3 by 15, 8 by 15, you can see that in all fractions the denominators are same. It means they will call be a like fraction. So they are called like fractions. Their denominators are same. I hope you understand it. Now this is part 1. We will, we will be covering part 2 in the next session. So all the best students have a good day. Thank you.